three signs she likes you. Baby, by the end of this video, you are gonna know for sure whether or not she really likes you. And if you've been missing the damn signals, because how can you guys be in a relationship if she's flickering singles to you, si signals, si 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 sing signals to you, and you're not paying attention. So let's just dive in to the first one. And she wants to spend time with you. Soldier boy, tell him. I don't know why that is in my head right now. You know the song? If you know Soldier Boy, drop it in the comments. Yeah, if she's wanting to spend time with you, I know that may sound stupid, but listen, there is something about your energy. There is something about how you are showing up in her life that makes her want to be around you more. And what you gotta do is you have got to capitalize on that moment. Maybe you feel like you're just in the friend zone and so you don't know what to do. If that's the case, get that free PDF guide I've been sharing about. It's a free download. It'll tell you what are those signs and how the hell to get out of that shit. But yeah, if she's trying to spend time with you, that means there is something about you that she is into. And so it's taking advantage of that and creating more opportunities to spend more time with you. So if there's something that she enjoys doing with you, going for walks, going hiking, food, whatever it is, whatever your thing is, create new experiences around that. Just don't keep doing the same damn thing. Same damn thing. Why? Because she just keeps seeing you in the same light, but maybe there are different aspects to you that she's not seeing. But if you change up the environment, aha, aha, where does that come from? Tell me in the comment section. If you change up the environment, then she can see different aspects and then things can go deeper for you. You like that? Go deeper for you? <laughs> can't stop talking about sex. I just try, but I can't, I can't, I can't. All right, second thing is this. You, oh, this is so damn good. Oh, this is so damn good. The second one is this. If you see her softening into her feminine around you, woo-wee, she likes you, baby. Oh, yeah, give it to Poppy one nice time. Yeah, if we are really softening towards you and we are... The tone comes down. So I'm talking in a very masculine voice because I'm, I'm advising, I'm teaching. But if I was around a dude that I liked, I'd be like, oh my gosh, that's really, that's really interesting. See how my eye starts like gazing around like, yeah, that's, that's really interesting. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't believe I ate all that. <laughs> nah, I'm lying, I eat all that shit. <laughs> I'm teasing, she's not gonna say that. I can't believe I ate all that. And oh my gosh, I'm so hot right now, oh. Is it hot to you? There's this whole like feminine thing. She's she's concerned about how she's showing up as a lady in front of you. Her tonality is a bit softer. And so there's something about your presence that is checking her and making sure it's like mirroring back to you're showing up with that like strong energy that makes her a little bit nervous, uncomfortable. That's okay, by the way. Just like we make you feel uncomfortable, it's okay if you make her feel a little uncomfortable. She's like, oh my gosh, I, I feel a bit flustered. These are signs that she likes you and she may not even realize it, but her body knows it. So if you're showing up with that kind of presence where she's just like, oh my God, I don't know what it is about him. I just get so flustered around him and she starts acting more feminine. Man, she likes you. And if you're that guy and you're like, Erica, no woman gets flustered around me. They're all bored around me. Then homie, you need to become the magnetic man. I have been talking about this program. You wanna step up your game the way that women are attracted to you or if they haven't been attracted to you and you wanna flip the switch, you're like, I'm tired of this shit. I wanna turn up the heat in my life and my masculinity. You wanna get the magnetic man. It's in the comments with that free guide. It's in the description. So that's, those are two things. So she wants to spend more time with you. The second one is she's softening into her feminine. And the third one is don't forget to subscribe and like, 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 like.
like, like, like this video, this video, this video. It's just a full on entertainment show here. You guys, what can I say? What can I say? But the third one is, and you know I talk about this because maybe it's my, one of my favorite love languages, but I know this shit works, and that is touch. When we are looking for ways to touch you, like, stop it, John. <laughs> when we start looking for these silly ways to touch you, or, oh, you've got something on you, or things like that, it's almost like uh, the subconscious way of like connecting with you, connecting with your body, because energy don't lie. And so when you touch somebody, you can see whether or not there's that energetic exchange, if there's that heat, if there's that electricity, if there's that, oh, it moves my heart, or oh, it moves my body. You know what I mean? And so we will look for reasons to touch you. If she's touching you a lot, you better be touching her right back. Don't be this little wimpy ass guy who's just like, eh, she likes me. No, man. Capitalize on it. Do something about it. Start touching her back. Mirror her behavior. Are you listening to me? Mirror her. Say that in the damn comments so I know you're paying attention. Mirror her behavior. So if she's flirting with you with some touch, then you better be touching her back. You better, because if you don't, I'm going to come and break your balls. You understand what I say? I have Italian friends. Can you tell? So yeah, if she's doing this kind of touching, whether she's conscious of it or not, there is something about you that she is wanting to discover. Like, is there a connection here? Or, or she just straight up likes you and she knows what the hell she's doing and she's finding any way to just touch you. Now listen, I know what you guys are gonna say. You're gonna be like, why, why, why? Basta, why she don't just tell me she like me? Why she don't tell me? Because listen, when we get to that phase where we have to tell you, hey, dingbat, I like you. That's kind of the point of when we're just getting frustrated with you. And you never want a woman to get to that point because why? You should be taking her to the point as a man, as that magnetic man, you should be guiding the fucking experience and not her me like, okay, look, bro, finally, uh, I like you. You don't want it to get there because listen, that sets a tone of, disrespect for yourself. You're causing the disrespect by not showing up in your masculine power, by not just having a conversation, by not initiating touch, by not initiating spending time together, by not showing up in that masculine magnetic presence so that she can soften around you. So man, you've got some work to do it. But you know what? I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm not going to do that to you. You know why? Because I'm going to put a whole bunch of videos here. And maybe you've seen some of those videos, but you haven't seen all of them. So make sure you hit play all and you watch every single damn video. Because we, you and I, we are changing your life. You're not going to stay in the friend zone. You're not going to be the wimp P guy. No, you're stepping up, you're elevating, and you're rocking in the best relationship ever where you guys are loving on each other. Then you'll start buying my sex courses and I'm like, told you so. See you later. Bye.